Guy on my right, inks on Brad Owen. I don't think he's trolling. What's going on, man? My name is Jeff Boson. Oh. <laughs> on the grind after getting 35th in the tag team i went to the gym actually we got pulled over by the police on the way to the gym apparently we got expired tags on the trailblazer i thought they just sent them to me in the mail but that's not the case let's pay that registration smog check tax but today is a new day a new day on the grind fresh start let's bag and tag the mgm 300k 500 mystery bounty if that doesn't work out we can go to the Nugget and play the $600, 500K with day two on Monday. Today is Saturday. Let's get it done. Let's stay in the zone. We just released the new vlog of the epic win. Make sure you check that one out. Much pain with just a little bit of pleasure. $300k at MGM Grand, max late reg right on break. We'll be getting in with 20 bigs, which is more than enough. 30k at 1500 big blind. We get seated relatively soon, maybe 10 15 minute wait. Not a bad wait at all. Got my buddy Anthony on my right, and very first hand, I'm in the big blind. Late position shoves 13.5k. I look down at East 9 off and ascertain that I'm ahead of this man's range. We call, he shows King 10. Let's hold. Let's hold. Oh, that's a what? One. That's a good one, and that's not a good one. Congratulations. We do not hold, and we lost half our stack on the first hand. Let's get it back. The very next hand, early position opens to 3,000, who says he's a viewer of the vlog. Holds to be in the small blind. I have king, queen off, and uh, yeah, 10 big, so not a great spot, but let's gamble. I shove, big blind folds. My opponent does not call right away. He says, uh, say something bad about him or his friend or something to be on the vlog, I don't know. But we got a video of that. And uh, we also find out that he has ace king, so we're gonna need to flop a queen or a straight or something. Roll the tape. Does it say Steve's a piece of shit for me on the vlog? <laughs> not if you're slow rolling. <laughs> All right, oh, Steve's a piece of shit, but we're still gonna suck out. <laughs> Put the queen out there. There it is. <laughs> Keep it low. Right. And we double. All right. Top pair is good on the flop, and we hold, and we're back to starting. About 33,000. For the very next hand, action folds to late position, who opens to 5,000 off a 25K stack. A large open. We're on the button. We play every hand, and we look down at pocket tens. So uh, time to grip it and rip it. We have them covered, barely. We shove, folds around. He puts in the call with ace king off. A lot of big hands at this table. And we're off to the races. Please note that I am 57%. It isn't really a flip. All right. See you guys. Oh, we're ahead. We're ahead. Let's hold. Don't hold any more ahead than anything. Oh, yeah. Even more ahead. Oh, oh. All right. good, good. That's okay. Right. No chop, no swap, all right, good. Again. Flop top set and he's drawing dead on the turn. And just like that, we're up to about a double starting stack. A very exciting start. Let's keep it going. At 3K big blind, I open the beautiful holding of Ace King off to 6,500. The button isn't having it. He wants to play for 20,000. Action folds around to me, and I say, let's just play for it all, 67,000 to go. He hesitates and puts in the call with pocket nines. We're flipping again. Although Ace King versus nines is not the same as Ace King versus tens because of the double Broadway blockers. The more you know. Let's get there. And we're off. Nines again. There we go. Hey, son. Oh. Oh. Queen for the job. Queen for the job. Queen for the job. Chop it up. All right. Oh, love, love to see it. We flop him almost dead. He turns a chop draw, and the river is a chop. I shouldn't have rooted for it. And we chop up the, uh, the money in the middle. 
very anticlimactic. Very next hand, I looked down at Ace Five of Hearts, 6,500 to go. Button shoves for 25,000. Not loving it, but I think we're priced in to put in the call. We see pocket tens. Deuce three four. Oh, that's a problem. Queen, really queen is the solution. Oh, nice hand. And we do not improve, and we double him up. What is this, all all wins pre-flop? Is that what tournament poker is all about? With a 36,000 chip stack at 3K big blind, we're in middle position with queen jack offsuit, 12 bigs, all in, everybody folds. A few hands later, cutoff opens to 7,000. We're in the small blind with queen jack offsuit for like 45,000. We shove it in there and they fold. A desired result up to uh, almost 60,000 now. Two, one, we're on break at MGM with Drew from Kansas City. How you doing, Drew? Good. It's a pleasure to meet you, man. I hope you run well. See Thanks. you at the end. Appreciate it. Right. Good luck. Too. With a 4K big blind, action folds to a guy from New Jersey. Very uh, outspoken. He makes it 10,000 to go. He has been pretty straightforward, you know, folding, limping in these spots. So I, I'm afraid he might have a premium, but we look down at 10-4 of hearts and we put in the call. Flop comes 10, 9, 6, all clubs. Very wet board. And he says two words, all in. On the surface, you're like, Boski, just call. You got top hair. What, what more do you want? But when you think about it a little more, even the hands that we're currently ahead of have great, great equity. Even ace, ace of clubs, queen of diamonds. We're not doing great. Queen jack off, one club. We're an underdog. Not to mention all the, the straights, the sets, the over pairs with the club. So on, on the surface, I'm like, okay, top pair call. But then I'm like, wait a minute, what's up with this player? Maybe I'll get something out of my escort exact count. I think for a few more seconds and he immediately says, you're crushed, kid. I was like, well, grown ass man, I'm not a kid. But he's like, I got you slaughtered. I got you crushed right now. And for some reason, I believe him. My live read says he's telling the truth. He doesn't want me to suck out on him. So if top pair is no good, uh, I don't have many outs to improve. So I fold my 10 four of hearts and he shows us 10 nine of diamonds. We were trying as bad as possible. We dodged elimination right here. Uh, I do get a couple shoves through to chip up. And at 4K big blind, there's a late position open to 10,000. We have pocket queens. Hello, ladies. And <clears throat> 64,000 easy jam. Folds around back to him. A viewer of the vlog who folds. And we're up to 84,000. Still 4K big blind runner the gun with pocket queens. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. Make it 9,000 to go. Same guy who raised folded when we had queens the previous hand is in the small blind and he makes it 35,000 to go off of a like 200K stack. Does he have aces or kings? There's only one way to find out. We shove all in. He quickly calls and sees the bad news because he's got pocket nines. Let's hold. Here we go. The ladies. Oh, maybe not. That's good. Not too bad. Basically. It's a good sweat. Flop top set, and he almost backdoors us, but we fade, and we got the big double up to 170,000 or so. Now we got some chirping chips. We got some breathing room. Finished dinner walking through MGM Grand, and this guy recognized me. Yeah, watch the stream once in a while. And? And uh, Boski's a legend. Boom, there you have it. <laughs> with a 5,000 chip big blind, cutoff makes it 13,000. I'm on the button with 170,000 and ace 10 off. I think it's a good spot to put in the three bet button, ace blocker, make it 33,000 to go. Small blind folds, big blind leans forward, shuffles his chips, and I'm alarm bells are already going off in my head. Puts in the flat call. Original razor folds. Or heads up to a flop of king, six, deuce. Normally in these situations, the cold call of a three bet out of position is very dense pocket tens, pocket jacks, ace, queen, where their hand strengths are generally not perceived as good enough to four bet, shove, but they don't want to fold. So that leaves them with one option, flat call. I normally don't employ this strategy. I go with a four better fold here based on 
players and uh, the situation. But I think it's my duty to continue with the C bet on the King High board. We have all the Ace King, Aces, Kings, etc. I bet 25,000, hoping to take it down. And he snap jams like 120 in my face. And uh, we fold. He later tells us he had King Queen of Clubs. Nice flop. We had him pre flop. Cut off viewer of the vlog opens to 13,000. I'm in the big blind with 88,000 and ace eight of diamonds. Uh, we got a great re steal opportunity here with our suit today, so we're going to go for it. I shove and we get snapped off. Our tournament life is on the line. They cover, they show the jiggities. No jiggity, no doubt. Put that ace out there, dealer. Suited ace, the nuts. Diamond on the turn. And we get the full double right back in business. You lose some, you win some. Back to about 175K. 6K big blind, button shoves 45,000. I'm in the big blind with Alan Jackson. We snap it off. C ace eight, flop top pair, and. Okay. They're gone. We eliminate a player, chip up to 230,000. At 6K big blind, holds us in the cutoff. I have king queen, make it 13,000. Button shelves for 55,000, blinds fold. We put in the call, we see ace four suited, and we're gonna need a little help to eliminate another player. Uh, four outs. The four outer on the river comes in and we're running hot in our all-in situations up to 290,000. We're approaching the day one bag and tag time. 12.5% of the field makes it to day two to be eligible for the mystery bounties and to be in the money. So a double whammy. Let's make it to day two with a big stack. All right, guy on my right thinks I'm Brad Owen. I don't think he's trolling. What's going on? Man? You're Brad Owen, you have to be. He pulls out his phone and pulls out Brad Owen's channel and says, I'm gonna pull out again? And says, I just subscribed to you or it opened your new video. He says it's a spitting image of me. Wait, full screen picture there. My name is Jeff Boson. Is his reaction genuine? Is he trolling? Let me know in the chat. With an 8,000 chip big blind, holds me in middle position. I open the old uh, King 10 off. People are playing pretty straightforward. 16,000 to go. Action folds to the button who shoves all in for about 55,000. That's seven bigs. We got two bigs in there, five more bigs. Okay, let's gamble. I know we're behind, but we're getting the right price. We see the Ace King suited. No time and we do not suck out this time. So we double up a shorty, all good. Back to 230. I have about uh, 300,000 and we're hand for hand. 41 remain, 40 get paid. 40 make day two, 40 mount a bag. So usually most people tighten up a bit and play straight forward. They don't wanna be the bubble boy. They don't wanna miss the bag or the illustrious day two of a live tournament. So that's when a guy like me is gonna be in there trying to steal your blinds. I think we're seven handed. I look down at king, queen offsuit, hand for hand. I go ahead and make it 20,000 to go. Min raise for life. Nice gentleman on my left, flat calls off of a 175K stack. That's gotta be pretty strong. Surprised he didn't jam. Big blind comes along for the ride and we flop the boat ski. King, king, queen. Big blind checks. I can't believe my eyes, but we have to think about this. Should I bet here? I think because we block so much, we have to check to let them bluff or check to let them catch up with a straight or a two pair set or you know something so i checked to the under the gun one who bets large Seventy-five thousand big blind folds and the action's back to us I, on one hand i don't think they're ever folding if we jam here but i think call's still better because even if they check the turn we can jam the river and get value from queen x or something or let them catch their ace or maybe they'll make it straight who knows or just let them bluff it off. Stack to pot ratio is going to be so small anyways. So we just check call, 75K, licking our chops. Uh, the turn's a 10. Ace Jack gets there. I check, and he quickly shoves it in. I beat him in the pot. 
and he shows us Ace King. Wow, what a cooler. Feel bad for the guy, but we don't want him to see an ace on the river. Ace. That's a cooler. We fade the ace, we burst the bubble, and we bag 478,000 chips. Sitting pretty, probably close to double average going into day two. Congratulations, Miss Rebounding Players. We've all made the money. Yeah, we got two players on that. Did it. So got them. Please <laughs> stay at your seats and follow all instructions given to you by me and by myself and the dealers. Bag and tag. Let's get some bounties. Let's win another tournament at MGM and get a 25X plus five. See you guys tomorrow. And I'm out.